Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, March the 8th, 2022, and this is episode 3750. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled Triple Play. Stay tuned. So do you know what a triple play is? I had a blessed time pastoring in uh, Winter Haven, Florida for 11 years. And it was always great when spring training came along for baseball. A triple play is a rare act of making three outs during the same continuous play. Now, triple plays happen infrequently. There have been 727 triple plays in Major League Baseball since 1876, an average of maybe like five per season. But they depend on a combination of two elements. One is that there's got to be two base runners and no outs. And then second the activity must occur during the play that enables the defense to make three outs. Uh, common events such as, you know, a batter striking out or hitting a fly ball do not normally provide an opportunity for a triple play. A ball hits sharply and directly to an infielder who then takes very quick action <laughs> is usually needed. What are you talking about, Bruce? Well, let me tell you. Yesterday, while driving, I had a route that went by a particular street at least three or four times. And there's a church on that street, and they have on their sign, and I saw it multiple times yesterday. I think God was saying, Bruce, you need this. Romans twelve twelve. Are you ready for the triple play? Be joyful in hope. Patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Paul says, rejoice in hope. Let the hope that you have in God cause you to live with joy and delight, regardless of circumstances. We should always let our relationship with Jesus Christ bring us joy. Our hope of being made right with God through Christ, our hope of Christ returning, the hope of heaven, our hope of the promises of God, and so much more. Those are the foundations that should leave us rejoicing. Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Be patient in tribulation. Do you find yourself in tribulation? Are you in a difficult season of life? Come on now. Be patient. That's easy preaching, hard living, right? It's easier said than done, right? How do we be patient? By knowing and trusting that God is in control. That his timing is perfect. That he doesn't make mistakes. Trust him. Be patient and rest in him. And then be constant in prayer. Personally, sometimes you can struggle with this. You can go for long stretches through a day, especially when things are going well and not even considering prayer. That's not constant prayer. Constant prayer. We have the ability to communicate with the God of the universe, and yet we fail to use that privilege. God wants to hear your heart. He wants to spend time with us. He wants to empower us throughout the day, good times and bad times. Constant prayer, constant prayer can unlock all of those things. Be constant in prayer. Now, all of 
three of these things are extremely practical for all of us. Press into God today. Let him increase your joy and hope. Ask him for more patience in your tribulation. Allow him to deepen your desire to communicate with him throughout your day and experience his amazing joy. Father, thank you for this word. Thank you for giving it to me many times yesterday. And I pray today that that would be the reality for each of our lives. To be joyful in hope, patient in tribulation, and faithful in prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.